the youths who are gathered here have any voice or have any law to play in matters regarding to combating uh, climate change issues. And I, I would therefore request Aisha Kingu, who is an advocate and uh, a poet, and I have read some of her poets, which are quite interesting on uh, climate change. And um, I, I, I think she probably know these things better than I do. But my question is whether the youths have any voice and law to play in tackling the climate change impacts. Karibu. Thank you, moderator. Um, thank you all for this opportunity. Um, I would say yes, and I would still say no. So I would say that you, we do have the voice. Me being here today, representing other youth, speaking on their behalf, we have been given a voice. So they are hearing us, they are hearing our words, they are hearing what we have to say. But we have also seen their different forums. For example, UNICEF has voice for youth. Youth have been given various opportunities to voice up, either write articles, you know, give different artistic works just to present whatever they have about climate change. Not only that, just the guest of Hannah said that Tanzania had an opportunity. Young, young, I mean, a young female represented Tanzania in the Youth Climate Change Forum. So we have seen that we are being given voice to say or to contribute on climate change issues. But then, dear youth, it's not enough. I think we need more. If we can write, for example, myself, then I need to write more about climate change. If somebody can sing, then sing more about climate change. If you can dance, then present it or present any artistic work just to make our voices being heard more, just to make more noise that, yes, the house is burning. You know, the climate health is deteriorating. So we need to do something about it. And when it comes to um, what role do we have to play, I think we have a great role to play in the society. And, for example, we need to join various groups. For example, the students here today. Go back to school, form different clubs, form different groups, together as a team, speak about climate change, say something about climate change. But not only that, if we can organize cleanups, for example, along the beach, it was also done by the organizers. Let's do more of that. Let's plant more trees. Let's be friendly to the environment so that we can tackle the problem. But that's not enough. If we see that there are things that are done and they're not good for the environment, let's report about them, illegal activities. Let's report about it or let's speak out about it. Not only that, another role that we can play in the society is move together as a team. We cannot do this alone. So to the youth, don't think that um, probably by yourself you can... Um, organize or collaborate everything by yourself. We need to move together as a team, speak in one voice, even if we have been given an opportunity, but sometimes you also need to create our own opportunity. So as much as we are struggling to take care of our health, the environment health is also important. We can be fine, but if it's not fine, then it's our planet. Where are we going to live? So dear youth who are inside here, I motivate you, I encourage you, including myself, let's keep voicing up. It's very important.